Hi guys, it's me, Peyton, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Peyton. And today we are making chicken beef donuts. <laughs> yes, it doesn't sound very good, but it is. Warning, this is not a real recipe. Do not try it at your house. Try it at a friend's house. Okay, don't do that. This is not a real recipe. It doesn't actually taste good. It tastes yucky. So, what you will need is some ground cinnamon, some water, a big mixing bowl, something to stir it with, and we have some cubed beef, some cubed chicken. And if you want, you can add caramel, which I don't think I will do. So, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my huge bowl, and I'm going to add my chicken. Sorry if you hear noise in the background. That's my other cooks in the kitchen, because I'm at my restaurant. So my, my restaurant's a bit loud, because people are cooking, so, yeah. This is hard to open. There we go. There we go, I got it. It's very messy, so make sure you do it over the bowl, because this stuff is messy, because when you open it, it crumbles up in it. Then you're going to add a bit of your water. And then you can mix it. Try to mash the cube so that will work better. I'm going to add a bit more water. Oop! That didn't work well! Because that water went everywhere! But still, you're not going to need any more water because this is all the water you will need. And leave it to set. Usually I would add a little cinnamon to set it, so I'm going to do that. So add a little bit of cinnamon and stir. And I completely forgot to get my flour and my sugar. So you guys are going to have to come to my kitchen to pick up with me. Well, I'm going to leave you guys here to watch my food as it. Hey, um, chef, chef, could you get me some more water in this? Thank you. Thank you, chef number 12. Okay, so, um, yeah, sorry about that. I had to get my chef to get me some more water, or else this wasn't going to work out too well. So, you're going to add all of your cinnamon. <coughs> Thank you. Oop, oop, oop. <laughs> I dropped the utensil in the water. Again, I'm going to add some more water. It can be warm or cold. Doesn't matter. And this, uh, this is a bit messy, so I'm going to put that to the side. And I'm going to get my flour and my sugar. So I'm going to mix. Wow, this is already three minutes. Okay. So then take your stirrer out and add your beef. So at the end, I'm going to add icing, but I'm not going to show you that part because you guys can ice it yourselves. And I'm sure you don't want to watch me ice it because that takes completely a while because I like to decorate sprinkles and stuff. So add the rest of your water. Um, break down your cube. Well, kind of mix it in the water first. And then stab it. Well, not stab it. Like just like hit it. If you need more water, you can get more water. So, these beef cubes are much harder to get down. So, just leave them in the water for a minute. And you're going to get your um, flour and sugar. So, I'm going to go get that. You're probably right. I could go get my chef, but nah. 
So I'm gonna get my tray and I'll be right back with you guys. Because I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my 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 hair this. So you guys can watch me piece and make sure it doesn't kind of I don't want it completely melting because I want to chop it up. So I got a bit of sugar, which I'm going to add in here. So that's going to be good. So the sugar will add on top and make it a sweet loving donut. So as you can see, the sugar dissolves. And that looks yucky, doesn't it? It looks so yucky. Right now it does, but when we're done, it's fine. So I'm going to add a bit more water. Just cover that thing in water because it was melting. So if you were wondering where I got that water, uh, my chef gave it to me. So yes, usually I need more cinnamon, so I'm gonna get more cinnamon. Which this is just some leftover cinnamon. Ooh, that smells. Ooh. Just be warning, this is actually not a real recipe. You know what? Okay. So, um, it's starting to look even grosser, and this is not melting. I got a bad one. Usually you need hot water to melt these beef things, so... I think I made a mistake there. More water, maybe? Oh, right, these beef things need to be cooked. Hmm, I'll just have that floating around, and then... When I'm done with it, it should melt because I'm sticking it in hot water after, so should be able to melt. I'm going to go get some flour, and I'll be back with you. Woo! Flour. So you can see what it's doing, kind of. You can see that it's very watery, and we need some powder or some resistance. And usually this will make dough, so that's what we're hoping for. If you add enough flour, it will be good. If you don't add enough flour, it will be too watery. And if you add too much flour, it will be too doughy. So let's try it. You don't really need a big spoon for this part, which is the part that I don't like. So, because the, uh... Hey, Chef! Can I have a big spoon? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, chef number 12 again. So, um, it's only been eight, eight minutes, and I hope you guys are still enjoying this, because it's just me mixing right now. That's why I need big spoon. Thank you. Thank you, chef number 12. It kind of looks like that paint that you use when you um, cook French toast. So. Now you can bake this for about 30 minutes and add caramel, your choice. I'm not going to do that. And you can bake it. So I'll be back in one minute. So, hey guys, it's been 30 minutes, and I'm going to take it out of the oven. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach in, and as you can see, wait, oh, this is going to be so gross. Now, when you make it, it's going to actually swell up and become smaller into your dough. So, here it is. Yeah. It looks really good, so I'm going to mold it into my donut, and I'll be right back. <laughs> so I'm going to mold it, and then frost it, and then I'll come back to you guys. <laughs> really hard dough.
I think I put a little too much cinnamon. <laughs> Get that out. Well, see you guys later. So, I'm back, and I just finished frosting it. As you can see, this is our chicken beef donut. Really good. And I'm going to taste it. It's really good. So please do not try this at home. It is not a real recipe. Thank you for watching. Bye!